not it's not even a real heated 220 mil heated bed i need to review of this particular machine bought from ebay cost me 147 pound it is now 150 odd pound i don't know how why the so it has a cheek to actually increase his price no matter what he should give it away okay here it is the bed is well no let's not start on the bed let's start on the head the head is an aluminium plate with holes drilled in it we all know that but the rollers are absolutely shite cheap nasty um very very badly printed rollers that's not the only problem the holes are drilled into the aluminium parts which is supposed to pinch this head together these are tightened up by the way right so here we go watch this yes i'm actually moving that so because the holes are already drilled and they're drilled incorrectly you're never going to repair that unless you rebuild that bracket and re-drill the holes yourself two the the filament hole for putting the filament is actually behind the screw thread so it's right behind the right in the corner there i don't know if you can see that yeah so the filament is always going to be rubbing against the screw thread bad it's got an automatic thing but i don't know if it works yet because i'm not going to try it this is how bad the rollers are there look can you see how bad they they are i don't know if you can see that the bolt are really tightened up tight but the gang tree also the bracket there can you see the bearing what i mean the roller yeah i can turn that by hand because the holes are that far out with the drilling spacing they're not even touching the bed and this is what you get here did that only just a slim problem with this printer before you buy it okay so let's take this off now don't forget when you buy this kit you're supposed to buy it you're supposed to take you 10 minutes to put it together you're supposed to bolt four bolts into the the gantry and then that part's done and then just a couple of wires plugged in and the power supply screwed onto the thing please don't buy this whatever you do uh the reason why i'm saying this is because okay i'll take the gantry off because i'll finish with that for now oh yeah before I, before I put the gantry away completely I don't know if you can see that just here on the belt they're using like a a piece of tin what they've cut out and folded it over and everything else and i don't know if you can see this but that is one sharp mother of a fucker that is sharp as hell it is a piece of piece of the metal where they've cut it and they ain't trimmed it off so you got a nice piece of sharp steel there ready to cut your hands same here you've got the same problem again right let's move the gang train out get that out of the way now you want some shocking shocking news okay i'll give you some shocking news which you which which you won't like the power supply this is not the shocking part but this is a bit the power supply is in there which plugs into somewhere there so you got your wires in there the power source is open thing up if one end come loose in there when you slot all the wires into place if one of the wires come loose and touch the case whoever touches the printer thinking there's something wrong with the printer because it stopped working is going to get kicked and most probably thrown across the room or just hurt or shocked by 240 volts that's what it is in the uk anyway now the wheel there is as a line it's bent 
the bracket is crap these brackets seem to be quite solid I don't know why they're using nylon brushes on that roller there to because that roller is going to keep rolling and it's going to wear and you have to tighten and it's going to wear next thing you know you're going to have to replace that the shocking news what I've got about this is the bed the bed consists of a comprise of or complies of 210 millimeters across by 210 millimeters across but it's not what they want you to believe <clears throat> you don't get no glass with this because you never use it because I need there's like a thin piece of plastic which was not in line when I got it so I just thought and I went like that oh look it's a piece of plastic stuck on with Bostic or even Evo stick. It's absolutely bad. And it's that badly done, the bed is not even sprayed underneath. So it's black, it's been sprayed to make it look really nice. But that's not the only bad part about the bed. Shockingly enough, The bed is not 210 by 210 heated. It is heated. It has underneath it, shockingly, this. Keep watching. It's not, it's not even a real heated 220 mil heated bed. It's an aluminium plate with a 100 mil heated bed sellotaped onto the plate how ridiculous can you get a hundred mil heated bed sellotaped sellotaped to an aluminium plate so the centre of the bed might get hot but how far is the heat going to travel? I am just blown away. I'm sorry, I am blown away completely now. I, I am just devastated and blown away. What a rip off. You've got your thermostat there. And then there is the connections for the heated bed, which is a hundred millimeter heated bed stuck to an aluminium plate that is covered with bostic and a bit of plastic over the top. Oh my God! What a rip off! The accessories what you get. A stupid, and I mean stupid, nine inch USB lead to plug that into your printer. I mean, into your, your computer. Mm. Nine inch rubbish. This looks great in the pictures, doesn't it? When it's bolted onto the LR, it looks absolutely fantastic. But would you want your kids getting anywhere near that? I know it might be only 12 volts, I don't know. So if it's only 12 volts, well, if they've got wet hands, they're still going to get a sting up it. It's all made to look really nice because it's all blacked out with black spray paint. Right, if you've got Windows 10, I do not recommend you buy this because this is your drivers, your manual and everything else. And even your program to run this on. Guess what? Windows 10 won't even run it. Well, my Windows 10 won't even run it unless it's just this is a bad batch, and I've got a faulty CD as well to throw into it. Yes, you get some filament. Don't know what it's like. Obviously, it's nice for me to send it, but is that going to be cheap shit as well, or cheap rubbish? Should I say? 
this is the spool mount or bolt onto the top of there like so but can you imagine a, a one kilogram spool on top of that when it's all falling apart wouldn't be very nice would it this if you've got a shock off this don't worry the Chinese plugs don't have a fusing so that wouldn't stop you from getting electrocuted would it because the fuse wouldn't blow because you ain't got one and it's a Chinese lead and it's cheap and nasty oh, there's so many things I can go into on this um, just ridiculous make sure that, that you ain't got no kids in your house when you're taking it apart or whatever because you get this which is I don't even know what it's for it is a sh real sharp Stanley knife it might be good because you got it with it but it could be bad like I say I'm not being cheeky but I'm I paid 147 for this and now it's gone up to 150 something I'll show you in a minute I, I like on a uh, skin a screen grab I do not and I mean I highly recommend you do not buy this or you do not buy off this particular seller because you're gonna get what I've got here a load of rubbish that's, that is meant for the bin really yes it's got some it might have been put together with some stepper motors and that but the work what this would cost me to repair and don't forget it's brand new the work what it would cost well he'd need new rollers because these rollers are not worth messing with i want i'd want all new rollers on that because these rollers are nasty i don't know if you can see that but that that they're not printed out right or they're not done correctly they're, they're all wobbly they're all different shapes you got bad runs on them so even if they was tight against it you would still get jittering on the head anyway and like I said the head look at it how are you supposed to do a print with that I do not know that is just disgusting and you won't be able to tighten it up don't forget because the holes are drilled in the incorrect part and you can't re-drill the holes and you can't undo them and tighten them back up again and try to move them because the holes are made for this bracket so you're just getting nowhere are you your head's being banged up the wall now isn't it really well you would be if you'd bought it and you was, and was putting it together 10 minutes <laughs> give it a couple of weeks maybe when you buy them all the new parts for it well that's my review of this particular thing and I'm just I'm blown away how they can con you thinking you're getting a 220 mil heaty bed when really you're just getting a hundred mil heaty bed underneath a piece of aluminium which is absolutely destroyed this for me and it is shocking I, I wouldn't even recommend this to anybody even a beginner I wouldn't even I definitely wouldn't recommend it to a beginner and I would only recommend this if you're thinking about stripping it when you first get it down to bare bones and rebuilding it it is shocking it is not worth a fart to me I can build printers like these I right I've done my kits from scratch I'd rather do from scratch than than actually buy this it's 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 terrible it's the worst printer I have ever bought off eBay this has to be the all-time classic rip-off in my eyes my recommendations for this printer is do not buy it keep away from it and keep away from the seller that sells this rubbish 
Okay, that's my review of it, and I'm um, sorry if anybody don't like what I'm saying. Leave a comment. If you agree with me, please leave a comment. Or if you just what you think about, leave a comment. So we can do away with these sellers that are always trying to rip us off for our money. See you later. Stay safe.